updated May 18, 2018, 518 p.m. IST Karnataka's former chief minister Sidramaya may have lost to retain power but he is fully geared up to defeat his arch-rival BJP on the floor of the house. On the one hand, he will publicly name and shame Prime Minister Narendra Modi, BJP President Amit Shah, Governor Vajabhai Vale, Chief Minister B.S. Yediyarapa, on the other Siddharamaya will target BJP in general for being desperate to stick to power. Sidramaya has been accompanied by party's emissaries Gulam Nabi Azad and Ashok Gilat to see that party's game plan works as per the plan. Further, Sidramaya has been in touch with the party president Rahul Gandhi to seek further directives especially on how to keep Janata Dal, S, in good humor. Sidramaya had migrated to Congress, ditching JDS but after the poll results was leaving no stone unturned to reconnect with JDS leaders HD Deep Gowda and his son HD Kumaraswamy so that the alliance remains intact. Sidramaya in a special plane has left for Hyderabad to meet party's legislators and boost their morale. He stepped up attack against the governor and alleged that he was listening to Shah and Modi instead of following the constitution. He also demanded that Bala must step down. What the governor did was a murder of democracy. Getty Europa had asked for seven days but governor gave him 15 days to prove majority. It owes clear collusion with BJP, said Siddharamaya, the former CM also welcomed the Supreme Court's interim order directing floor test and termed it, historic, he argued that the governor's role in the constitution was very important and he must be unbiased. But in Karnataka, the governor has taken decisions to favor the BJP. He noted that the governor did not follow the due procedure even though Congress and JDS Alliance had submitted all procedure documents.